goal is to bring together bright minds and that are idea focused and on a wide range of subjects relating to the latest trend to foster learning, inspiration and wonder and provoke conversations that matter. We've got different technology themes for the coming day's conference. They are investment and fundraising for today, product design and develop for tomorrow, hardware manufacturing for 14th of October, digital marketing and crowdfund funding for 19th of October, and global sales and distribution for 20th of October, and the last exit strategy for 21st of October. So let's start the presentation for today. May I, may I now uh, invite the very first speakers of today, Daniel Lin, the CEO of Future World, and Frank Chen, Business Development Director of Mike Lin Net. He's going to present on the top, Taiwan Startup Ecosystem. Welcome, Daniel and Frank. Hi everybody, my name is Daniel Lin and I'm the founder and CEO of uh, FutureWord. So FutureWord started uh, three years ago as um, the largest makerspace in Taiwan. And, um, but we've developed into uh, sort of a startup um, ecosystem, uh, trying to get it all the, integrate all the resources available together in uh, Taiwan. So I'll give a quick introduction on what's going on with the startup ecosystem in, um, in Taiwan, and then we'll follow up with Frank, which will describe more in detail of the hardware um, kind of innovation system. So the scene in Taiwan right now is developing very rapidly. Uh, it's, a lot, of, a lot of government resources are now coming into the ecosystem and setting up um, platforms to integrate everything together. So if you think of Taiwan, I think most people think of the, the, the food, uh, the culture. It's a very unique mix of both Chinese, Japanese, and some European influences. Um, and a lot of foreigners might actually confuse it with Thailand. It's not very well known. But it's, most people come to Asia to go to Tokyo, Hong Kong, or Singapore. So. But it's got a lot of hidden um, talents. Uh, it's ideally positioned right in the center of Asia. It's within a few hours flight from, um, from most countries. So it's very convenient. Um, it's actually ranked very highly in terms of uh, overall investment environment. And it's ranked number one by, global, uh, by DGDI index as um, in terms of for environment for entrepreneurship, which surprises many, because the resources in Taiwan are there, there's a lot of resources available, but it's just not very well uh, integrated into an ecosystem, uh, which we uh, Future Word is working on along with um, the other players, and then it, it's got a world class hardware and software development. Um, uh, resources. Uh, for example, the largest uh, contract manufacturer, uh, Foxconn, is based out of Taiwan. The third largest is Lidon. Uh, HTC's phone division was just uh, sold to Google a couple of weeks ago. And um, TSMC, of course, is uh, world famous for um, integrated circuit, semiconductor fabri fabrication. And a lot of the, the tooling and, and hardware manufacturing resources are also available. So. This is a brief overview of, of what's available right now. Um, there's pre-incubation, there's startup weekend, um, startup grind is getting set up in Taiwan. Uh, there's training programs like Alpha Camp and, and App Universe. So we're training um, new graduates to work in startups and also to do some digital transformations of traditional industries. Um, there's accelerators. One of the, uh, the oldest accelerators in Asia is actually AppWorks. They've uh, facilitated about um, close to 300 startups. And now they have their, um, they're finished raising their third fund uh, to invest in these startups also. And um, world famous uh, venture capital firms like SOS Ventures, they set up a mobile only accelerator. Um, and Garage Plus is uh, a nonprofit charity that started as a nonprofit charity. It's a it's a group of um, the largest companies in Taiwan in manufacturing, telecommunications, and uh, business services. So as you can see, the, these things are starting to come together. Um, but there's more that needs to be done. So the government um, is putting together a new initiative called the Asia Silicon Valley Development um, Agency, and as part of that, uh, they're building out. Um, 
these new services and putting together a new kind of startup campus that uh, we're um, helping out with. So we're hopefully in another few months we could we will be able to announce um, exactly what we're doing. But basically hosting international startups to come to Taiwan to access these resources, but also to take Taiwanese um, startups global. So with the accelerators, we talked about AppWorks um, and Garage Plus. Uh, there's another government initiative called Taiwan Startup Stadium. Um, and some private uh, accelerators are being spun out from ITRI and Triple I, uh, some of the nonprofit organizations in Taiwan. And Future Word Central right now is working on, on that part too, collaborating with Founder Institute and also with ITRI and these other um, semi governmental organizations. And then more and more co working spaces are starting to appear um, besides. Future Word, there's Keep Working, Impact Hub is in Taiwan also, and uh, CLBC is, is, was one of the earlier co working spaces, and now um, some of the government supported spaces like Taipei Co Space and CIT. So, Future Word started uh, with co working spaces, um, maker spaces specifically, and now we have uh, our, our new space, which is located in downtown Taiwan, uh, Taipei. Um, we've been trying to build up this collaborative ecosystem um, by providing scalable spaces uh, and access to um, equipment and um, event spaces and providing uh, services for these startups, uh, which include for foreigners, we can help apply for entrepreneurship visa. We have a, a, a bilingual team that can facilitate um, any needs, that anything that they need in Taiwan. Um, we partnered up with the um, English speaking lawyers, accountants, and designers to provide some business services and introductions to um, investors in Taiwan. And also for uh, access to the government resources that, that we're collaborating with. Um, we, we built up this international community. About uh, a little over 50% of the startups in our spaces are. Um, are international, they're not from Taiwan. And our purpose is to, to kind of have them mix with the, with the local um, startup entrepreneurs to see if there's any possibility of cross-pollination. Um, our space is very flexible. We have everything from hot desks to um, private offices. And we pr put together a lot of events to provide opportunities for people to, to meet and talk and possibly collaborate. And part, as part of that, we're putting together these workshops um, with certain with government organizations and also uh, international uh, startup organizations, and as part of that, um, one of our one of our partners, one of our most important partners, is Mite, um, and they can provide uh, a one-stop hardware um, service, everything from prototyping, EVT, DVT, uh, all the way to uh, manufacturing and shipping the product, and. Um, to explain more on that on that part, I'll let uh, Frank from Might actually uh, introduce that. So thank you everyone for for your time. Um, if you have any more questions, I'll be around afterwards to answer anything about Taiwan or Future Word. Thank you.